Hola, Armando Ceja. We're back in our favorite spot. It's been a very cool growing season. We've harvested a little bit for our sparkling wine and we did that around 18 and a half bricks. And uh, I've got a little gadget I wanna show you. This is a refractometer. So what I do basically, I would take a sample of the vineyard, a representative sample of the vineyard and uh, read the, uh, the sugar, the sugar content of the fruit for uh, sparkling wine, I'm looking for about 19 bricks. For still wine, I'm looking for 23 and a half to 24 bricks. Right now we're at 21.8, so we've got about uh, two more weeks to, uh, to harvest uh, the Chardonnay Vineyard. The crop level that we've got here, we're gonna be coming through here and thinning it out a little bit more. We, we had a one heat spike that uh, uh, burn some of the fruit, so we'll be, we will be dropping that fruit. Uh, we don't want any of the damaged uh, fruit. Uh, once we bring it in, we're gonna be shooting about three and a half tons. Uh, and that's a yield that uh, really gives us the intensity, the concentration uh, that we want in our wines. Uh, so three and a half ton is, it's a moving target, but uh, I think we're gonna nail it this year. Uh, fruit looks really good. Canopies are still uh, very healthy. We like to see green leaves and uh, golden fruit. I'll continue to utilize a refractometer probably to about 22 bricks. After that, we'll go on flavor, on tartness, the balance. We'll look at the seed maturity. We don't want any uh, green seeds. We want br brown, nice crunchy seeds. That way we do not extract any green flavors uh, from the seeds. What we're looking for is a balance. A balance between the sugar and the acidity. For say, there is a, a bit of a flavor in the fruit, uh, but the, the wine aromas and flavors really come in the fermentation process. Uh, right now, what we're looking for, like I said, is more uh, structural, tartness, phenolics, maturity of, of the berry. Well, next time we'll, uh, we'll see each other, I will be harvesting this fruit uh, for our Napa Valley Carnero Chardonnay, guys. Hasta luego.